Welcome to the Wayfaring Panda. I'm Annette. Today I'm making a card from Teen Tiny's Inspiration Hop. So we had to pick a video from another member of our team that inspired us. So my challenge was to find a video of Natalie Walsh and do a card inspired by one of hers. So I saw that she did a nighttime card and I've never done that. So that's what I'm doing. Natalie used a magnetic ruler to do her masking to do the ground and the sky. I'm using some Gina K masking paper and you can see I've used this before. So I'm also using the same color she did for her sky and I use some masking paper for a round circle to be the moon and then I'm going over first with Stormy Sky Distress Oxide ink and this is my first time to use the Distress Oxides. Natalie used a blending brush, but I don't have those, so I'm using Tim Holtz blending tool, and I'm using the foam dome from scrapbook.com. And since then, um, Tim Holtz has come out with his own foam dome, so I don't know how they compare to the scrapbook.com, but I do like these a lot better than the original foam that came with the tools because it's a more firm type of foam and so it seems like it'll last longer and it blends a little bit better. You still need to start off the page though to get a smoother blend. I think it's good that my card will be a little different and that I'm showing different tools to get the same look because we all have different things at home and it just shows you can get the same look using whatever you have at home. I will speed the video up so it doesn't take as long and I'll probably cut out some of the coloring and the ink blending because otherwise the video is going to be very long. The next ink I'm using is Chip Sapphire and this gives it a little bit more of a blue look to the sky. Team Tiny is a group on Facebook and we're all crafters and have YouTube channels with less than a thousand subscribers. So we're all helping each other grow and doing hops together. And the great thing about this is you can see people using all variety of techniques and different styles, so you're sure to get a lot of different ideas. So Natalie will be doing a inspiration from one of my videos, so we need to see what everyone comes up with. To see the other videos, you just do a hashtag Team Tiny Inspiration Hop to find the other videos. And I'll put the link in the description below. We have several people participating, so half of the group is going today on Saturday, and the other half will be on Sunday. And it'll also be Team Tiny Inspiration Hop. After I get the blue pretty smooth and how I want it, I go ahead and add some Black Soot Distress Oxide ink, and that's to make it look like a nighttime sky. I'm trying to keep the middle a bit little bit lighter so it looks like the light coming from the moon. Then I keep alternating between the colors until I get the blend that I want. After I removed the mask from the moon, I went over it a little bit with the ink to make it look like clouds are floating over the moon. The fun part is removing the mask to see what's revealed. Then I use a mask for my sky so I can do my ground. You want to make sure you don't line it exactly to the edge otherwise you'll have a white line between the sky and the grass. I didn't have the same green colors that Natalie had so I use bundled sage for my grass and then I go over that in pine needle. But the pine needle it's dark but it's a little bit too bright so then I went over that a little bit with black soot so that I have more of a nighttime appearance. I'm leaving the top middle portion kind of lighter so it looks like the light from the moon. I'm going to heat emboss my sentiment. So first of all, I go over my card with my embossing tool. And this puts a fine powder over the card so that my embossing powder only sticks to where I stamp. Then I stamp my sentiment with black soot distress ink 
And the sentiment is, hope your day glows with happiness. And this is from Lon Fawn's Little Fireflies stamp set. Next I use Ranger Clear Embossing Powder to go over the sentiment. And then I heat that with my Wagner heat tool. And that melts the embossing powder. Natalie used some starry stamps in order to do white embossing for her stars, but I didn't have any stamps with stars, so I'm using a stencil that has stars, and I'm using my Distress Embossing Dabber to go through the stencil. Then I used Hero Arts white embossing powder to go over the stars. Bluebird's North Star set to stamp her stars and her animals, and the animals all look like they're looking at the moon. I didn't have that set, so I chose Lawn Fawn's Little Fireflies and their Happy Trail set to stamp out the trailer, the trees, and the little fireflies. I'm a beginner with Copics, but I'll share what little I have learned. And I put the colors that I'm using up above. So I'm only going to show a few of the images that I colored. And I decided to make the fireflies have a yellow tail since that's the color I remember them having when they light up. And some light gray. So I tried to do their wings a lighter gray and their bodies a little bit darker gray. But I didn't want to go too dark otherwise you can't see their face. I used Lawn Fawn Jet Black Ink and Heavenly White Cardstock because both of these are alcohol ink friendly. The first tree I colored was kind of experimental since one of the colors I used didn't really work out right. So what I did to get more of a tone is I used my darker shade and my lighter shade and then for the in-between shade I colored a little bit of my dark marker onto the nib of my lighter marker and that helped me blend the two together a little better. For the camper I didn't want it to be a bright red and I didn't really have a dark like a grayish type red so I used R29 and then I kind of thought well the middle of the camper and the top will be a little bit lighter because that's where the moon's shining and the sides and the bottom would be a little darker. So I went over with my R29, and then to darken it, I did where I rubbed a little bit of my W9 on the tip of my red, and here you can see me doing that. And then that allowed me to get a little bit grayer type red on the side. Now after I finished this, I did rub my nib on the paper to make sure I got all the gray out of my ink. Of course, for the tires, I did that W9 because it looks like black. And for the curtains and the rest of the camper, I did gray colors because I figured usually a camper would be white or light steel color or aluminum. But in the dark, it would be cut a little bit more gray. And the curtains, I couldn't decide, but I figured in the dark, it would look more gray and you wouldn't be able to see a color. And of course, I did the windows yellow. I'll put a list of all the products that I use in the description below. That'll help you find the products that I'm using. Also, some of these links will be affiliate links. These don't cost you anything extra to use, but it does give me a little bit of a commission if it produces any sales. And I do appreciate when you use those. That helps support my website and my YouTube channel. Thank you. Next, I used my Scotch ATG gun to attach my card panel to my card base. And you could also use liquid adhesive to do this. After I cut out all my images, I used my Nouveau Deluxe glue to glue on all my images onto my card. 
I just realized I didn't record one of the steps. So I had stamped the circles with Versamark ink and embossed those with the Lawn Fawn Glow in the Dark embossing powder and then cut those out. And I'm putting those underneath the fireflies and those will glow in the dark. And I'm popping the fireflies up with some foam squares. I did test the card out, and it does glow in the dark, which is pretty cool, but I didn't have any success of taking a decent picture. crystal stickles to the stars to make them shiny. Then I used the Copic marker, and it's one of the grays, but I don't remember which one, to go underneath the trees in the camper to show a shadow. Finally, I add some blades of grass with G46 that gives that some detail and texture. I want to thank you for watching, and I really would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, and also give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.